Hello, Facebook friends, hello. Hello, Facebook friends, hello. I'm feeling real silly, so let's start the show. Here we go, here we go, here we go. There we go. Well, look at that. I got everything set properly. Miss Christie's here. Say hi, Miss Christie. Hey, Miss Christie. Ding, 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 ding. Uh, this time I have it on uh, not just only me. I have the comment set properly. And uh, Miss Christie and I are here. And then uh, Justin says hi, Miss Christie. Rob says hi, Miss Christie. Hello. Yes. Oh, my goodness. That was said so loud. Hello. <laughs> I've got Hello. earplugs in my ears. It sounds Hello. it sounds super loud to me. <laughs> Hi, Miss Christy. Hi, Miss Christy. To her, to her, it sounds like this. To her, it sounds like this. No, 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 no. That's basically yes. Uh, Mike Hewan from Mike's General Store is here, and he was he sent me a message the other day saying it's like romper room, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it'd be like this. Eh? They could be you could put these magic glasses on and go, well, I see Robin, and I see Rob, and I see Justin, and I see Mikey, and I see Joanne, and Derek, and not a Taz. There was never a Taz. She never said, I see Taz. Romper, stomper, bomper, boo. Tell me, tell me, tell me who. Tell me something, something, thing. Who am I going to see today or something like that. Yeah. yeah. I don't think she ever, I ever heard her say my name either. No, she didn't like you. She she first, right away, she's just like, here's the people I don't like. The Christy won't let Tazzy have a poppy. <laughs> oh, she could see into the future. In the future. future. Yeah, that's right. She was like, great. That's what that was. Romper, stomper, bomper, boo. <laughs> Tell me, tell me, tell me who. Romper, stomper, bumper, boo. Hey, Joanne, how are you? Joanne from Rotary's here. Hello. I've got to get you your mask. Ma -de 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 -do -de -de -do. i got to get the mask. I, I, I wonder if something has been going on with my Facebook because um, um, uh, I've been sending messages to people about masks and nobody has been getting back to me. I wonder if there's something... I don't know if I've messed something up in my face, but I shouldn't be allowed to press buttons. That's what it is. Correct. That's it. If you touch me, I get a puppy. Oh, you are so lucky. You can I have a puppy? my button Okay, right perfect. Now. Uh, you can shouldn't I be allowed to push buttons. Uh, puppy, 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 puppy. Oh, ouch. Now it's in French. Oh, that was Madonna. Oh, wrong one. That was Russian. <laughs> you shouldn't press my nose so hard. Did you, when you feel it crack, you stop pushing. <laughs> when you hear, I got you. Hear, well, I got. I got my like, earplugs in. I can't hear anything. <laughs> how you can hear if I ask for a puppy? <laughs> She's laughing. That means I got a puppy. No. Can I have a puppy? No. May I please have a puppy? No. <laughs> That's how I see your face when you do it. <gasps> no, no. <laughs> You don't get a puppy. We don't eat no puppies. No puppies for you. That's right. Mm -hmm. And I still hear what I want to hear. Uh, did all my friends have fun today? That was it. And I can't remember the next line. Romper, stomper, bumper, boo. Tell me, tell me, tell me who. Something, something, something. Did all my friends have fun today? Yeah. Oh, man. I can't even Google it because we're on my phone. And my phone. And your phone. Yeah. We'd have to use our memory. That's yeah, not going to happen. Nope. Your memory, you keep forgetting to tell me that I can have a puppy. You say I can't. And then when you're sleeping, you're like, uh -huh, uh -huh, well, I can have a puppy. It's fine. That's what I hear. <laughs> I go, hey, Miss Christy. Miss Crispy. Miss Christy. Crispy. Miss Crispy. Miss Crispy. Miss Christy, can I have a puppy? And you're like, like that. Yeah, that seems familiar. Yep. Like that. <laughs> I just thought of something I should have got you to get at the grocery store today. A puppy? No. You should have got me to get a puppy at the grocery no. store. What? Mince meat. Oh, mince meat. We have a jar of mince meat in the thing, I think. Are you sure about I that? I don't know. We I like mince meat. Anyway, they don't want to know what our grocery list is unless it includes a poppy. I was tr trying to get you off of that train of thought. Oh, okay. Well, this <laughs> this train left the station uh, 
A jug a jug a jug a jug a pop a pop a pop a jug a pop 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 a doggy doggy. Mince meat. Do you think you can distract me with food? Yes. I do like me some mince meat. Uh, Joanne saying, "Hey, tomorrow's Friday. Uh, tomorrow's Wednesday, by the way. So today would be Tuesday. Oh, it's because we have a Rotary meeting tomorrow. I wonder if I can join that meeting tomorrow." I have something early in the morning that I have to do, some sort of a video thing. I might be there tomorrow. Tim Woodcock, how are you, buddy? Tim Woodcock owns Woodcock Cycle, and he got me a blue bike. Remember my blue bike? I have my blue bike. I got a blue bike because Tim Woodcock got me a blue bike from Woodcock Cycle on St. Mary's Road. So you know what's really creepy? When you <laughs> when you program something into our, our, our uh, car, and it goes... Turn right on instead of saying Satan Satan's Road. It, it 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 like breaks it up. It goes turn left on Satan's Road. <laughs> oh, I don't want to go down there. <laughs> turn right on Satan's Road. Here's a book called Mr. King's Things by Jevin, uh, Gen- Genevieve Cote. Oh, I bet you I said that right. Does our car also tell you no puppies? No. If you honk the horn, it goes, puppies, pop, 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 puppies. I don't know, because it's I'm trying to read a book and not talk about puppies. We will get you a puppy later if that's what we want. <laughs> Miss Christie wants a puppy. No. Yes, you do. You do so want a puppy. You just won't let yourself get one because you're stuck in the no mode. <laughs> She's a no it all. <laughs> Oh, here, uh, Rob sent the, uh, this is the Magic Mirror segment from Rob for Room. Okay, well, I'll have to, uh, that's a link I'll have to cr- click on after. Okay, Mr. King's things. please don't interrupt me with asking about puppies, Miss Christie. <laughs> I didn't. Th- you did, just now. Keith Anderson, how are you, big fella? I miss you, buddy. How's the girls? Uh, Gen- Genevieve uh, Cote, uh, this is called K- from Kids Cam Press. I uh, got this book at the thrift store. Uh, I got the book at the thrift store, and uh, actually, I didn't get it. I picked it up, but uh, Dave and uh, Sam, Air uh, and um, Aaron Nick from uh, Thomas Painting bought a bunch of books for us. That's what we're gonna do. Birdy, birdy, birdy. Mr. King likes new things. Lots of new things. No. As soon as one of his things becomes the teeniest bit old, he tosses it into a nearby pond and replaces it with a new one. The pond isn't very big, but it can hold a lot. And nothing ever shows except for a few ripples. That seems like a big waste of... It's a bad idea. That's I'm it. I'm just telling you right... Take it to the right thrift store, the buddy. Bad idea. That's it. Give it to me and I'll sell it and trade it for books. When he isn't buying new things or tossing out old things, Mr. King goes fishing. This sounds pretty familiar. There aren't many fish, but Mr. King doesn't mind. He likes to lay in the sun. This book might be an autobiography. (laughs) Just every time you see the word Mr. King, just insert the name. What what, what name were you saying? Say again? Uh, (laughs) But this morning, Mr. King is almost rocked out of his boat by a sudden tug. Uh Uh-oh, must be a big fish. He pulls on his line. And up comes the scariest looking thing Mr. King has ever seen. Uh Uh-oh. Looks pretty scary. That looks pretty scary. That's not a picture of Miss Christie. Who's mad in her mad face. You're beautiful, but when you have your mad face, it's just very scary. Like now. I can see right now that your mad face is starting. You could tell because it goes like this. It goes like... <laughs> like that. That's, a, that's almost a mad face, right? Yep. <laughs> You have happy face right now. You can't fool me. Just the outside is not. Help a monster! Mr. King rows away as fast as he can, but the monster is hooked on his line and follows closely. (laughs) 
<laughs> Everybody's gonna think you're evil just because you won't get me a puppy, and I keep saying you got mad face. You don't have mad face right now because she's laugh. She's laughing. Bar Buffington is here. It's time to do a joke. It follows him right to the shore. The minute his boat lands, Mr. King runs for cover, sits tight, eyes shut, hands on ears, because that is the way to handle all problems. <laughs> That's kind of what you do if I keep asking for a puppy or a new car, right? Yep. You run away, run for cover, sits tight, your eyes shut, and you put your hands on yours, and you're like, I'm going, can I have a puppy? And you're like, la, 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 la. And all you see is, in your head is like, yeah, the world is beautiful. I like that. <laughs> sure. <laughs> His friends come rushing to the pond. Mr. King is nowhere to be found. What's all the noise? Is the circus in town? Is it some sort of sing-along? Is there a soccer game? Did somebody call our names? Magic Mirror, tell me today, did all my friends have fun at play? Well, I thought it was mad. What I thought, romp, well, the beginning was romper, stomper, bomper, boo. Tell me, tell me, tell me, true. Magic Mirror, tell me today, did all my friends have fun at play? Mr. King's friends looked around for clues and found a big pile of things jumbled on the shore. Oh, it wasn't a fish. He pulled out all the stuff he threw away. It took me a couple minutes to figure this book out, but I got it right there. Barb Buffington says hi, Miss Christie, but not in this voice, probably. Hey, Miss Christie. That's a Barb Buffington voice, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> She's the queen. Hello, Miss Christie. Good to see you. Remember when you met the queen? She was like, oh, hello, my loyal subjects and royal subjects. Oh, oh Christy, don't let Tazzy have a puppy. Not even a corgi. No, no, no. Oh, oh, oh. oh yes, good to see you. You remember that? It might have been a dream. <laughs> a jumble sale, cries Harriet. I love jumble sales. Oh, I could use this ladder, says Bert. I'm not very good at climbing trees. Well, you're a bird. You're a, you're a, you're a bear. Do you know why the you know do you know why Bert got arrested? Because he was running around the woods bear. Bear, he was not wearing any clothes like bear. Bear you probably want an aspirin called bear. <laughs> These jokes are gonna get worse. You might want to just shut off and go somewhere else now. <laughs> uh, let me fix this umbrella for you, Harriet, offers old Jim Elk in the same voice as one of the other characters I couldn't remember. Oh, what a lovely house, says Skit and Scat. <laughs> oh. I didn't have to say it. Joanne said it. It's grown. <laughs> well, you know what? Do you know what kind of animal um, plays that instrument? A sheep. Do you know why? They play the tuba. <laughs> tuba. Grown. <laughs> I'm grown on you. Now I have enough chairs to, to, to see my whole family, exclaims PJ. And I'll, I'll take a table for two, says Tex. I'll take that table for two, says Tex. I like how people are are coming yeah. together and they're you yeah. know finding uses for thrifted idiom, items. Idioms? Items. Idioms. 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 <laughs> I'm not an idiom. <laughs> Mr. King is still hiding, wondering where the monster is. He peeks out to look. He spots his friend standing by the pond. Oh, no! No, what's going to happen? Can't tell. He runs over to warn them. Watch out! There's a monster over there! Watch out! There's a monster over there. Oh, my goodness. The monster's over there. It's got to be careful, Mr. Monsters! Careful, monsters! No, nothing. <gasps> Look who's there. 
Yaz says she will uh, have to draw one for you. Oh, Yaz, please draw me a puppy. I'll draw you a puppy, too. We can draw each other puppies. My buddy Yaz is on. I haven't seen you forever, Yaz. Last time I saw Yaz, she was wearing a skidoo suit, and she was helping her dad shovel. He had a big shovel, and she had a little shovel. And that was one of me. That's the last time I saw Yaz. How you doing, buddy? Hm, we'll talk after. Mr. King, st I have more books for you. Mr. King stopped short. The monster is gone! Uh, look, Skit. Uh, look, look, said Skit. Uh, we found a table, a keyboard, six chairs, and a, and a tuba. Tuba! And we saved some nice things for you, said Scat. Skit and Scat. Tuba. <laughs> I think you can just let that one go, Tazzy. <laughs> <laughs> Surely you're joking. <laughs> That's another joke about or some sort of goat or lamb, maybe, or some sheep. <laughs> that was a sheep shot. <laughs> okay, that one That's worked. a good one. That's not a bad one. <laughs> oh, the, the whole time I was trying to remember that, some sort of a joke like that. Um... Mr. King turns quite red. Uh oh, <laughs> he says these are my uh, <clears throat> my old my old my old things there. He picks up a few pieces thoughtfully. He says, "Hmm, I have an idea." He announces and sets to work. Everybody is thrilled with Mr. King's inventions. He has made a flower kite, a fish carousel, a floating fountain, a colorful surfboard, and a ferry boat for two. Oh, he's, he's repurposed some stuff. It's good. I like that. That's true. Mr. King's turns old things into new. Talking about repurposing things, did I tell you that uh, Yaz's mom scared me? That Barb no. scared me? No, she was she was sitting on the ground and she, had, she you know those beautiful pots that she has at the front with the with the branches and the and the Christmas bow and stuff around it. Yeah. She was making that and I didn't see her because I glanced over. There was nobody there, but she was sitting on the ground tying the stuff. She goes, "Hi, Taz." I'm like, ah, 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 like that. I didn't say that out loud. So how did you link those two things together? Oh, because um, uh, she was these things were making um, uh, about making old things into new. You have to live in my brain for a little bit. There's a lot of room. Come on in. <laughs> but the, the thing that you should be taking away from this is that Yaz's mommy scared me. Okay. Yeah, I didn't even ask for a puppy. Uh, Thank Ken you, Cormier. Bar Ken. <laughs> Uh, Ken Cormier says, uh, "Do you take requests?" I do, and uh, if you're a big Dr. Zeus fan, I will. If you ask me for a Dr. Zeus book, I and I have it, I'll read it. <gasps> There's a new Dr. Zeus book called something about um, why was I scared? I've never seen that book. It was for sale on Kijiji, and somebody beat me to it. I was looking up puppies. This is Miss Christie when she's pretending to care. <laughs> Oh poor Taz! I wish that you stop. Don't you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna mush my head up. This is not as much fun. Now look, my hat is all crooked. I have to turn my head. I was being nice. You're not being nice. You're being like of mice and men nice. Yes, yeah, I'm coming to live at your home. Here's one called Jellyfish Are Disgusting. There we go. Oh, what did we learn from this book? I guess we should... Uh, what, what's the lesson that we learned from this book? Um, you, um... What do we have to do? The, the lesson that we learned from this book is that uh, you should... Instead of throwing things away, you can give them to your friends if you don't need them anymore, or you can repurpose them into something awesome. And we've done that a couple of times. We've yeah. turned a couple of things into a... a Some of my of favorite things that we have in our house are secondhand. And, and old. Like a lot of the things. Yes, like this guy here. He's secondhand and old. <laughs> <laughs> and broken, and she's trying to repair me. <laughs> no, I'm not trying. There's no, no point. Hey, I can't fix the gas leak in here. What's going on with that thing? <laughs> but yeah, no, some of the, I love, you know, new stuff is just too square and, and black or white or, you know what I mean? I like, I like old, 
I like I like <laughs> old stuff. <laughs> I do. I like I like you know I like mid-century modern kind of neat great you know, sort of, just, I just like that stuff too. Anyway, we're getting, we're just talking away amongst yourselves, forgetting there's people there writing for us to read a book yeah, or something. Yeah, I suppose they have been waiting for us to read books. Yeah, if you'd I stop guess. asking for a puppy, I can get things done around here. It's called a role reversal, so maybe she'll say fine, I'll just get a puppy. Not gonna happen, my friend. What if I wasn't your friend? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we'll put this aside for Miss Yaz to read. How's that? Ken says, uh, I have two Dr. Zeus at the shop for you. And Barb says she has a good collection of Dr. Zeus if you need it. I'm looking for um, a couple of Dr. Zeus books that I've never... I've, the the uh, What was I afraid of one I want to get for sure. Anyways, now let's read back to uh, Jellyfish are Disgusting. Back to the regularly scheduled program. Of book reading by Taz and Miss Christy saying a no. Uh, Joshua George is written by Joshua George. Boo -da -boo -da -boo -da -boo. And this book was from. Uh, man, I gotta. I want to buy some better glasses. All my cool ones are gone. 2016, and it is, it is written uh, for Tide Media. You know, take this off. Ta da! There's still the book there. I'm a magician. On a still. Calm evening, far, far away, under a brig, big brig bear, dear, dear, bear, near, bear, bear. <laughs> er, bar, ma, de, bur, de, bur, tallo, bur, do, be, de, boo, bo. That actually kind of sounds like it's coming from underwater. <laughs> okay, so that was my dyslexia, because see, these words are not typed, they're written, so it's very hard. So sometimes when words like that look like they're handwritten like this one does my brain goes oh, i can read that but that that what yeah that's not a word <laughs> right that's what happens yeah watch this puppy no on a calm see i still i did it wrong well we have to just turn this book shape all the bad words out of here there we go there's bad words in there backwards backwards okay on a still calm evening Far, far away, under a big, bright moon, one of nature's most incredible miracles was appearing, and his name was Bert. Hey, Bert. <laughs> it's about turtles. I'm trying to come up with a turtle joke. I'm not eating jellyfish, said Bert. They're stringy, they're stingy, and they're disgusting. Well, what are you going to eat then? Asked his mum. Bert thought for a minute. Jelly! Bert's mum groaned, an awful lot like Miss Christie and Barb does, when Taz tells puns. And with a slow flap of her flipper, she soared away after a group of jellyfish. Everybody knows turtles eat jellyfish, she called back. You'll see. I'll eat jellyfish if there's peanut butter fish. Peanut butter fish. Probably two things you don't want to have, right? Can I have a peanut butter fish milkshake, please? You don't have that very much. In a jiffy. It's a jiffy joke. A banana peanut butter. Milkshake is pretty delicious, though. Well, of course, but because bananas and peanut butter go together, but yeah, especially if you put some chocolate in there, it then it's not a banana good. peanut butter. It's a chocolate milkshake with banana and peanut butter in it. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, it'd be delicious. You know what else are good? Puppies. Not in a milkshake. No, you don't want to have a puppy milkshake. Those are for blizzards. Bert decided that he would only eat jelly, so jelly would be what he ate. It couldn't be that hard. All he had to do was find the birthday party. There must be plenty of those. <laughs> Barb says, You sound like the chef from the Muppets. Nerdy Bert 
Bert began to swim around the seaweed looking for birthday parties until he finally found one. It's okay for a turtle to do it, but if I wander around the neighborhood going, Happy Birthday! And that there, a whole lot, I got in trouble. Hey, tuna, said Bert. Happy Birthday! You look tasty, said the tuna. Can I uh, <clears throat> eat you? No, said Bert, slowly and clearly. It wouldn't be very rude to eat someone who's come by to wish you a happy birthday. Tuna shrugged. Okay, uh, welcome to the party. Bert went straight over to the jelly and ate as much as his little belly could hold. Well, that's why I have a big belly, so that it holds more jelly. A jelly belly, a jelly belly. This fella, he's got a jelly belly. Sometimes a smelly. <laughs> Hashtag truth. <laughs> yeah, hashtag truth. <laughs> Above a coral color, color, hang on. I got my words working. <laughs> you're red. You're like you're so you're laughing so hard. You're red. That's awesome. <laughs> My job here is done. <laughs> Above a colorful reef, Bert found a manta ray having a party with all his manta ray friends. They were spinning and twirling slowly and gracefully. Hey, manta ray, said Bert. Happy birthday. Whoa, whirled the manta ray. Welcome to the party, dude. And Bert ate as much jelly as his little belly could hold. It's got a little jelly belly. Little jelly belly. He's my turtle belly with a little jelly belly. Near big cliffs, where waves crashed and boomed, Bert saw a seal having a birthday party with his seal friends. They were playing hide-and-seek in the rock caves. Hey, seal, said Bert. Happy birthday! Shh, whispered the seal. Oh, I'm playing hide-and-seek, but welcome to the party. And Bert ate as much jelly as his little belly could hold. It's got a jelly belly, the turtle belly. At the edge of the deep water, where the ocean grew so dark you couldn't see the bottom, Bert met a dolphin and a whale having a joint birthday party. Hey, dolphin, hey, whale, happy birthday, said Bert. Whee, twirled the dolphin, oh, leaping and spinning. Oh, thanks. Welcome to the party, said the whale, as he sped towards the surface. Oh, watch out. They had a whale of a good time. I did that joke on porpoise. That's a whale joke and a purpose joke. Porpoise. Dolphin. And so Bert spent his days searching the big wide ocean for birthday parties. He saw all kinds of wonderful things and met all kinds of friendly creatures. And he ate all kinds of lovely jelly. But it wasn't always easy finding a birthday party. And some days Bert was very hungry indeed. Do you know what else is very hungry? A puppy that doesn't come to our house, Christy. Do you just like hungry puppies? Is that what it is? <laughs> that is some On, flawed logic, It's my not friend. flawed logic. You <laughs> don't know coleslaw logic. One sun hungry day, Bert couldn't believe his eyes. His friends had arranged a surprise birthday party just for him. We know how much you love parties, said the tuna, and everybody knows turtles eat jellyfish, said the dolphin. So you found your real big juicy one. I wonder if this book gets told by the jellyfish's uh, point of view. <sighs> Bert swallowed and looked at his friends, and they looked back at him excitedly. Uh, Go on, said Dolphin. Don't be shy. Bert closed his eyes and took a bite. Slowly, he started to chew. Hmm. That's not so bad, he said, with his mouth full. Um, is there any more? 
look at the face on that guy. It's like when I eat your mincemeat tarts. That's the face I get right there. Nom, 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 mincemeat tarts. Now you got me on mincemeat tarts, so you're going to have to go to the store and get some mincemeat. I think. Do I have a puppy? No. Oh, and mincemeat tarts it is. So Bert's jelly eating days were over. And he spent his time following jellyfish across the open ocean. There are always other turtles to meet and interesting things to see. Bert stopped by to see his old friends from time to time, although gradually there were fewer and fewer of them left. Turtles lived for many, many years, and the truth was, Bert was getting old. They can live, I think there was a, a, a turtle that they found that was over 100 years old, that they had been, a big sea turtle they had written on his chest in like the early 1900s, and then they found it again just a while ago, right? Something like that, I can't I remember. Know. Then, on a still, calm evening, far, far away, under a big, bright moon, Bert was passing as one of nature's most incredible miracles was happening. If you ever seen the the uh, turtles hatching and then trying to make it to the ocean, it's pretty awesome. Yeah. I'm not eating jellyfish, and they're they're stringing, they're stinging, and they're disgusting said one baby turtle. <clears throat> Everybody knows turtles eat jellyfish, called Bert as he swam past. You'll see. Wee Beast, how are you, buddy? Tired. Come on in for a second. How are you? Tired. What did you, how was your dance class? It's pretty good. Yeah? Look at your hair, it's all cool. You want to come say hi? It's all wet. <laughs> Hello. Hi, everybody. Look, it's Wee Beast. Miss Christy said we could have a puppy. I did not. Do you not. believe that? <laughs> Who are you going to side with? I mean, I know you're not going to do any of the labor. So oh. I'm going to have to side with Christy. Miss Christy. Man. <laughs> he knows me too well there. <coughs> Pardon me, I had I covered my mouth with a book. Did you see that? <laughs> oh. Uh, hi, Weebies. Nice hair, says Justin. Thank you. Yeah, you got really some awesome hair. Look at my hair. It looks like uh, I'm just about... I'm going to scrub some... I look like a dirty Q-tip. <laughs> oh, gross. <laughs> hey, I have to shave my head because it has to be... Oh, no, I need some hair for... Keep my hat on. This didn't work out as good as I thought it was. Hang on. Without hair, you don't know how far to pull it down. Look, see if I have hair, I'm like, okay, that's where it goes. But if you don't have hair, you're like, this doesn't work very well. Hang on. I'm trying to get, this is tighter than I thought it was. There. Whew. Eyebrows are too bushy. <laughs> My working. eyebrows are too bushy. It wasn't letting it come up. <laughs> well... I need a new place to live. <laughs> <clears throat> Anyways, what do we learn from the uh, the jelly jellyfish are disgusting book? Well, um, you should probably try something before you say it's disgusting. Like today, I uh, wee beast, we were going to try some. What were we going to try? Horseradish, horseradish. right? <laughs> That's funny. I said to uh, wee beast, I said, "Can you go to the fridge and get the horseradish?" He comes back in about five minutes later. There's no horseradish in the fridge. I go out and I'm like, mm -hmm, yeah, it's right there. And he goes. Oh, horseradish. I thought you were looking... I was looking for Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> I get them mixed up all the time. <laughs> One's the in words a... don't really sound the same, but... No, let me see. Think of them, horseradish. Kind of... Worcestershire sauce. Do, do they rhyme? Nope. It's just, I don't know. It's just been a thing of mine. They're both kind of gross, so I... They're both kind of gross. I, I compare them to each other and the... Oh. There we go. There you go. Try everything. Try something before you say it's disgusting. He, Wee Beast always tries, even if it's just a little bit. Sometimes he goes like this. He's like, uh, uh, I got it. Mm, it's pretty good. I like it's very delicious. And other times Sometimes, he's like, that was almost everything. Almost everything, yeah. And there's a couple of times where he goes like this. He goes, I don't. <laughs> That's usually tomatoes, right? Yeah. Yeah. Anyways. And then from the King Sings, we learned that we should probably. Take what we're going to throw out and see if we can either give it to somebody else or uh, recycle it in some way, right? Either, either uh, 
Um, what's it called when you, you not up, what is it called? Re, not reuse it, but you upcycle it or something like that. It's called upcycling. When you take something that, and you see it for something else that it can be, right? Like if you yep. see, a, you know, use, oh, that can be a pot or repurpose or something yeah. like that. That's awesome. That's what we're doing. So there's the lessons. And here's what I learned. Uh, always check your privacy uh, settings and make sure that uh, uh, you have your phone plugged in. And those are a couple of things that I learned today. So have yourself a great night. I'm going to go and we Beast and I are going to watch a show. And then I have to get ready for, um, I have a show tomorrow afternoon. But I will be here uh, tomorrow evening. I have a show tomorrow afternoon. I'm very excited to be having a show. I miss making people laugh. So have yourself a great, and i got to be up in the morning too. Uh, I'll wake you up so you can be part of the Rotary meeting, Kai. Because <laughs> tomorrow's Kyler's uh, day, day um, what is it, like your off day off of school. Day. I still have a lot you of still have a lot of work to do. So I'll make sure I get you up. Right? Okay. There you go. Yeah. Anyways, thank you much, very much for tuning in. Thank you so uh, much for being you. I appreciate all of you. And uh, Joanne will see me for breakfast. Well, if you mean by lunch, you'll see me. <laughs> Joanne. Uh, so I have to remind, can you please remind me to put it in my phone for the Rotary meeting tomorrow, Miss Christy? I will try. Thank you. Miss <coughs> Miss Christy, I mean, mean Weebies, will you remind Miss Christy to have her remind me to put it in the phone? To set a reminder. To, to set a, put a reminder. So can reminder. you have Miss Christy, you remind Miss Christy to remind me to put a reminder in my phone to remind me that I have to be at the Rotary meeting tomorrow. And Joanne, you call me in a little bit to remind me, to remind Weebies, to have Miss Christy be reminded to put a reminder in the phone so that I don't miss the meeting tomorrow. And Barb, if you could call Joanne, and Joanne, could you please call Weebies, and Weebies will call uh, Miss Christy, and Miss Christy will call me. And other Barb, you call the other Barb, and then will call Joanne, and Joanne will remind to get the Weebies. And Justin, you just call me directly and say, Taz, put this in your phone, dude. Hole in the bottom of the sea. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, how's that? <laughs> 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 and that kids is how you Your get hand COVID. tastes like soap. <laughs> and that's how you get COVID. There, we've solved it. <laughs> Anyways. Good night, Facebook friends. Good night. Good night, Facebook friends. Good night. May your dreams be cheery and your dreams be bright. Good night, Facebook friends. Good night. Sleep tight, Facebook friends. Sleep tight. Sleep tight, Facebook friends, sleep tight. May your dreams be so silly till the morning light. Good night, Facebook friends, good night. Good night, yes. Lots of love from Miss Christy and myself and Wee Beast. And remember, in a world where you can choose anything you can be, why not choose to be kind? Good night. Puppy, puppy. No.